the TIE pilot, served in the Starfighter Corps of the Imperial Navy by piloting the various TIE series Starfighters, distinguished by their all black flight suits and the bulky, fully enclosed, vacuum sealed helmets. The TIE fighter pilots formed the elite of the Imperial Navy's flight branch. Hello, and welcome to Cinturon's Corner, and today we're reviewing the 40th anniversary of the Emperor Strikes Back carded back figures, the Imperial TIE Fighter Pilot. Now I picked this guy up from Star Action Figures for $18.95, and currently they're still available on there. So if you want this kind of guy, go along and get him. Because I missed out originally, he was on the uh, blue and black kind of carded figures, so I was expecting it to come out as an archive, but it's come out on the 40th anniversary and 20 quid. So, yeah, it's good. It's a good time for people like me who are just kind of collecting that we can actually go out and get these figures that are rebranded, but it's just still the same price. We're not having to pay the odds just to play catch up. So, here he, she is. I always kind of think the TIE Fighter pilots look a bit sort of female. When they're running through on the Death Star, um, When they, I think they're sort of scrambling to get to the TIE fighters they actually look a bit female they look quite skinny and you know the way they're sort of running but um yeah we've got them on the sort of old chaser type card the ember strikes back uh, same as all the rest i think the image could have been a tie pilot i think it would probably look a bit better i mean i don't know if these are actually rehashed versions of what the old kenner kind of cards were but i kind of would like an actual picture of a tie fighter pilot rather than just a back end of a tie it's not even like the front end of it so on the back we just got the figures from the second wave of this and um, I picked up Luke which I've already reviewed and Hoff Rebel and now the TIE Fighter pilot I haven't picked up R2 and I haven't picked up Lando Lando I'm happy with the figure that I already got it's only a different face sculpt and R2D2 I don't know a lot of people have been telling me that the R2D2s in the Black Series are a little bit smaller than the rest so that's why I've got a Bandai kit ready to be made. So, without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. Okay, so here he is in his blister pack. And, um, yeah, just kind of bare basic. TIE Fighter Pilot, E11 Blaster, that they don't really use. Um, well, you never see them actually use it, to be honest. So I always kind of expect these guys to have like a DL-44 blaster or, or kind of like a pistol really rather than a rifle. But anyway, we take them out, have our first little dibs, take them away for some re uh, photos and we'll come back for a review. Looking pretty cool. Looks more of a matte black than a sort of like a really crisp glossy back. Um, I have got the Inferno Squad agent that we'll go through and have a kind of like a, a side by side comparison, but uh, yeah, nonetheless, take them away and we'll see you in a moment. Hello and welcome back. So I've been away taking some photos and yeah, I must admit it's just a TIE fighter pilot. There's nothing over the top. I mean, it's completely black, so there's not really much going for it in detail looks and stuff like that. Well, it has got the details, but they just don't really pop out as much. And yeah, the articulation's there, photo's nice. So there's not much more I could really sort of say about this figure, apart from it's just great to have him in the collection finally. So. It comes with one E11 blaster, holds it in this sort of like hand with the trigger, just there, detailing, standard E11, which all our characters come with. And the good thing about it is actually it's got the sort of silver bit here painted, so it's not too, uh, too cheap on the cheaper side, where sometimes this bit here isn't painted, so it's quite nice that it's been done. 
So we can take it out of the hand and it comes with a holster on the side, which is sort of made of a kind of a, a squidgy rubber, more than those sort of more robust kind of other holsters that we have. But it does just fit down there, squeezes down and sits perfect. So taking that out, we can go through the articulation of the character. And as you can see where it could be, it's slightly hindered in some places, but what you get for look, what the figure is, is pretty good. So we can look left, we can look right, we can look up, we can look down. These bits are removable. We can just pop them out, but obviously doing so it's, it takes away the look. But if you wanted to get that look just that little bit up further, you can do that. We've got rotation at the arm. His arms can come up. We've got rotation at the elbow and it's a 90 degree bend. We've got rotation at the wrist, which is also on the hinge. We have a waist swivel, but because of these swivels quite up, quite high, and we've got this armor, there's no ab crunch whatsoever. And slightly a little bit back. And then we've got, a, well, the legs come out this far and then they can kick forward this far. And they can come back this far. We've got upper five rotation, we've got a double jointed knee, and we've got a rocker and a pivot. So pretty much it's just a basic black series figure, it's just slightly hindered here, and obviously with the tubes up here, it's a little bit more hindered, but they don't really actually get in the way at all. And um, with that, really, we can literally just go through the actual uh, sculpt of the actual figure. So just brightening up the screen just slightly. You can actually see TIE Fighter Pilot there. And as I said before, it's a bit more of a matted black rather than a shiny black. It just kind of sort of, uh, I don't know, it is shiny, but it, it just looks a little bit matty at the same time. We've got the insignias on top of his helmet and the little other little parts and doobries, the silver part, back armor, which is gloss and just a standard jumpsuit. The insignia again on the arms, kind of sort of standard issue kind of um, Imperial officer kind of belt, and then obviously we've got this sort of like breathing console with the blue buttons. It's all painted really nice. There's no sort of color bleed or anything on there. The tubing again on this arm, we've got the insignia and obviously the com link, and then these legs are just literally all one piece. They are just. Well, it's just a jumpsuit. And then we got the nice glossy boots with a belt buckle. So yeah, being a completely black figure, you know, still has a lot of going for him. And it's an iconic kind of character being from the original trilogy and obviously a member of the Imperial Army. So with that, I've actually got the Inferno Squad agent as well. So we can have a ganders and sort of compare them together. Let's take this one's gun out. So, getting them together, the helmets, as you can see, like the Inferno Squad just has that more kind of sort of shinier look to the helmet. We've got red lenses in there, the insignias are just slightly a bit different. All on the right hand side of the agent, we have that sort of red, red look. The console buttons as well, slightly different colours. And obviously the insignia on this side. The com link is different as well, well colours. And the only actual major difference really is that the Inferno Squad comes with a Imperial belt, Stormtrooper belt, with one ammo kind of clip on the side, doesn't come with this one. And the holster is right around the back. Then obviously with this one here that we just looked at, holster it's just literally on the legs so that's pretty much it that is the tie fighter pilot really i mean it's a small review it only comes with one accessory it's an iconic sort of trooper character so yeah it's pretty good to have this one in the collection finally really and rather than sort of paying over the odds it's great to get these sort of like characters come out in these different waves that really for new collectors it's you know we don't have to pay over the odds just to get those sort of characters in so 
yeah, I mean, if you're a collector, you're going to get him anyway. If you're a person to want to take photos or just want an action figure of the TIE Fighter pilot, then it's a great opportunity. I know there's a lot of people out there who collect the 40th anniversary thinking that these figures shouldn't be opened, but it's a great opportunity for us to go and grab it for 20 quid. So guys, thanks for joining me on this one. Uh, you can subscribe down below, follow me on Instagram, all those other things you can do down the bottom. And um, I'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.